Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by Luke O'Rourke, the Juggalo Santa, spreading Christmas cheer to all the good girls and boys in the ghetto. Hello guys, welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's 1225 hours. And I'm on the boat for a minute, swapping out a thing, because I got, I found that you can buy, you can get these really cheap on Amazon. I'm pretty happy about that. I didn't know if I needed the 45 or the 60, so I got one as an experiment, and it turns out it fits. Yay! So, let's swap this out. Uh, and I'll put you guys right there. There. Mr. Minkus, wait a minute. Well, that goes through. Permission to come aboard, sir. Can you pull that off, please? No, it's unscrewed. I just can't get off. I can't swing it any further that way. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, sir. That's where the new one will go. Alright. So now I gotta get under and do the things for that. I'll be back. Make sense? Yeah. Alright. I'll be back. This should be right over here. Oh shit. That, that's where my eighth inch. Uh, where are you at? Going. You're over there. Oh, that's got to be it. Okay. That's where your eighth inch Allen wrench went? I was wondering where this guy went. Yeah, it's, huh. it's, it's out here. Let's set that there. I gotta get way the hell up in here. They're nylocks, I need a pair of pliers or something. That's too big. Smaller than 76. It's smaller than 716. So today, my goal is to fix this window. It's Saturday, so I can do boat stuff. My goal is to fix this window, and uh, that window over there, and see if this works, where I can stick uh, a couple of the 
don't really know what the hell they call these. Hand drill mounts, I guess. That'll do. Alright. We're gonna start on uh there. Port. Let's okay. start the hard one. That's the hard one? That's the closest to the fiberglass. Oh. This might be hard for you, I don't know. It goes through the fiberglass. Uh, Alright, hang on. Give it a shot. It's like a quarter inch thick. Okay, maybe a little bit. No, it's not a quarter inch thick. It's really, there isn't that much to it. Go for Chris. Stretch it out. You're just trying to push it in. It's not like electrical tool. Cool. All right. There. Back in a tiny little box, which keeps the shit off. All right. Nice. Go down. Come up. <laughs> it's Groundhog Day. Because <laughs> I'll start the next phase on here, and you can do the alcohol wipe. Well, do the dry wipe and the alcohol wipe. Dry wipe all around it until you got a bunch of shit above you. sucks though. The alcohol is always disintegrates whatever you're wiping with. Well, it's not so bad with paper towels. Sucks with sponges. At least the cheap cheap sponges do you. My cleaning crew was complaining the other day about a stain they couldn't get out of something. So it's like a Mr. Clean magic eraser with some alcohol and magic happened. <laughs> You come up on deck and have a seat. Could you please grab one of the glass windows? They're, they're parallelograms. The glass ones, not the plastic ones. Where are you going with that? Huh? 
Oh, they're doing the art? Okay. Like, don't steal that. That's what we want. Mr. Minkus, I need one of those. Is that one or two? Okay, so that one back down. We need one. It doesn't matter which. I think they're the exact same. Super clean it. Super duper clean it. With no residue. Because its next step is tape. Do you want this patched up or is this fine? That's no, fine. You'll never see it. I don't know if it would interrupt the seal. This Doubt is it. not a concourse level boat. And no, that won't affect the seal at all. The goal is to install the windows better than they were new, which if you used like a, a whole bag of big league chew and maybe some old cheese. <laughs> not seen big league chew. It would it would be better. I was thinking of the worst possible like adhesive and sealant combination. I would just want big league chew. Another one would be like like fruit by the foot as gasket material. Yes. yes. That that's about the level this was built. I practically lifted the windows right out, but it took us like a week to pick all the caulk off because it was so dried out and nasty. So this is going in with VHB tape and this ridiculous caulk. It's a, a straight up like Dow Corning caulk. Like it doesn't even have a name, it's just a number. It's just a, it's, it's just an identification tag. It's just a it. number. <laughs> it's it's fifteen bucks a tube. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna install all six windows. Fair. These two are the easy ones. Um, the other windows, well, do you have any idea what the other windows look like? Look down there, see that pallet? Yes. That's a sheet of plastic. Okay. That's the other four windows. Gotcha. We just haven't turned them into windows yet. Right, right now, that's a right. sheet of acrylic. Because the other four windows to buy were 800 bucks, but the sheet o plastic, which is in the color I wish the windows were, not the color the windows were, it was 100 bucks. We have a sheet router. So if you have the, the super expensive <laughs> tool, <laughs> you could turn $100 piece of plastic into 800 hours of windows. Pay factory prices yeah. when you are the See? factory. Right there, I got an Ikea factory right in the other room. <laughs> and uh, so we're like, cool, I get, I get to do a member project, so yeah. And we're gonna, they're doing the artwork right now. They're gonna cut out the windows and then the same process with the VHB tape. Yep. Press it. The difference is here, we have a recess. There's a bezel for it to go into. Out here, it just sticks to the side of the boat. Mm. Like that's it, that's how the old one, and the old ones were just mounted with caulk. I was like, this is not okay. So we're gonna VHB tape the outside just like we do here. And then after this, we put the super sealant, a little thin bead of it, around, wipe that off, and it'll look brand new. Yeah, it's it's actually kind of cool. These are neat because these windows are actually glass. The other windows are acrylic. Gotcha. So that's clean. Do you do the, the alcohol stage? Are you if done? If you're cleaning, I'm touching the window. Is it like that? All right. You put on a pair, too, because you're going to help place the window. I'll work the inside. All right. Don't put those on yet. Set them, set them on here. No, don't set them on there. Set them on here. You can't set them on there because you got to get into here. Um, gravity. Gravity. Now you got to tape that window. Now, look, you're going to start in this corner up there. Okay. You're going to go down, 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 like that, all in the same direction all the way around and let them overlap the end so that I can trim them. Okay? Cool. Shoot him, he's doing this stuff. He's, he's, he's doing the cool shit. This 
Mr. Mankus, be advised we are actually bedding the window. This is the, the installation. Um, the last step of cleaning that has to be alcohol. You can't have anything else, at least according to BHP. And the acetone has to be alcohol. You can use acetone, but then you have to clean it with alcohol. Okay. I have watched way too many videos and read way too many manuals, and oh my god, the shit I know about BHP tape. Which comes in no less than four different colors and about 50 different, like, grades. None of which have names, just numbers. No, this is a fucking horizontal surface I can use right now. Tell me how you really feel. Probably your mother don't love you. I'm dead, yo. I know, that's why she don't love you. Anymore. She didn't let me see his live either. Well, debatedly. So, Mr. Minkus, I have a goal. You know how you like to go and have fun on, a, on a, like Memorial Day weekend or Fourth of July with a boat? Yeah. I want you to take this one. You don't mind. You can, you can, you can sleep on this one. Your five foot ten wife can stand up inside this one. I get that. Yes. Yeah, I know already. I'm even done with it, and you can have the alcohol that's up here. Tim, can you hand this to Mr. Mason? Oh, I'd love some alcohol, thank you. Drink that, it's gonna suck. I feel like that would be really, really Intense drunk. Denatured alcohol? Yeah. Uh, no, it just makes you very, very sick. Yeah. There is a cure for it, though. You know, you know what the uh, cure is for drinking denatured alcohol? Regular alcohol. Do you know which one this is going into so that we can make sure that I'm cleaning the right side? Clean both sides. A lot of work. Uh, the window here goes this way. I'm looking down on it from my perspective. Okay, I'm cleaning the right side. Okay. We're doing both, so it doesn't really matter. I was just planning on doing port first. Good? Alright, now we just wait a minute. Now, we glove. Take your ring off. Is that time soon? Uh, yes. yes. Take it off, put your pocket. In your, yeah, you set it up there, you'll never see it again. Put your pocket. That's why pocket, you have this little pocket right here. Yeah, yeah, I don't have that. Well, see, if you'd wear big boy clothes. Not everybody gets to work in pajama party clothes. Hey, now. Hey, man, what you do... These are a lot more expensive than your average pajamas. Let me well, tell you that. then you overpaid. <laughs> <laughs> I know a place where you can get a kangaroo onesie, and that you know I would work. Outfit. I would work at a kangaroo you onesie. Do that. I would. I would do leg day in a kangaroo you onesie. I can. I, I can help you make this happen. You can get a lot more than just a kangaroo. I just happen to have a kangaroo. Oh, okay. Because Mark loves me. I got you. Mark got me a kangaroo. I actually, have it in wardrobe. Gotcha. I've, I, I, I've worn it on occasion. I will say I will not be doing any kind of leg day until next week because I did leg day this week with somebody who weighs 100 pounds more than I do. Okay. Jerry to Chris, moving through uh, the gift shop right now. Just going to uh, a little. Uh, shit. Love's off again? You're fine. I have to go do high voltage work.
Do you trust me? You're Minkus. I trust you. You got this? All you gotta do is peel the tape. Well, come here. I'll break it down for you real quick. You know what we gotta do? You just gotta peel it right off the tape. You peel the tape. Now, come on up here. I'll show you what's up. You gotta got gloves on. I can't hand this to you so I can climb up the ladder and have three points of contact properly. Okay. You gotta peel the tape. The tricky thing is lining it up before you drop it. It really most sincerely will fit entirely inside the lip. You want to have like an eighth inch space all the all way around. around. Um, as long as you got that, you're cool. You peel the red, you set it down, it's good. Okay? Um, I gotta go do high voltage in the Q&A. Because mm -hmm. Jerry's... Oh, shut up! Because Jerry's timing sucks. It's real glass. Okay. <laughs> Don't use that handrail. I'm not! Alright. Do you want to be where I am? No, you want to be out there. I need you? to be on the outside, so Drew's gotta move more to All his right. left. Drew, go up here. Then you're safe. Don't step on that. I wasn't planning on it. Go right to there. As he steps on that, look at, see the footprint of exactly where I told you don't step. No, you told me not to you step on it. You pointed at the hatch, Chris. Cr hatch. You don't step on any. Okay, see how this has grippies? Uh huh. Grippies is good. Go see to, how go this to is your smooth? Stuff. Smooth is bad. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor. Taylor's cool. He's gonna give you a chip. Just Wait, you're the you're the um you're the the you're the, the fitness gym guy. the fitness yeah. guy. Yeah, the well, gym guy. He's the gym teacher. I I know what to do. I lost 30 pounds in three months at one point. And was going four days a week to the gym and lift, just lifting, no cardio. Yep, that's where it's at. Dude. It's gaining muscle. Nobody understands that. Because you start running and I mean I walk to lose the the main portion of it so that. Like now, if I was going to do it, I'd walk to lose the main portion of it. So then when it actually came time that I started building muscle, it would just continue burning. So I'm going to want to have, you can actually take. I need to sneak under there and get the tape. Yeah, you can, yeah, you can take your gloves off. We have like a, uh, I guess it should be something to do. I was going to ask if you had like a fan that could pull the BS away from there. Maybe open up that tape. Oh, I'm not worried about that. I'm sure that's something to do. Oh, they're doing a Tesla upstairs. They're doing the Tesla coil, they're going to do Thumper. Let's see. Alright. And if we do this fast enough, we can get these bedded and... Watch Thumper. I can go home. Wow. I was supposed to be home an hour ago. Cool.
All right. Now, if you want to step down and as far in the hull as you can, uh, you, you're on the inside as long as you don't touch the edges where the glue is. You shouldn't need the gloves. I just wanted the gloves up here, so if I was handing it up to anybody, all I'm going to need you to do is kind of hold it up as I get it positioned. Balls. I got this. this is that side. <laughs> is it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you like me to go up there and grab that sheet and you can grab the other one? Or how do you play this I'm going to put the dirty side down in front of Drew. And I'm gonna go quickly clean the other one. center of it and slowly bring it down I'll kind of guide it keep going hold on uh, can you pick it up it's, it's, oh no it's not coming up is it It's close. <laughs> going nowhere. Oh, looks pretty good. See, I figured it was going to be like every other tape that I ever had to deal with where you had a little bit of room to work with it. I feel like that's not No, that's not what happened. <laughs> the shit just went right down and said, I'm sticking! Oh, we got one. It's not good. Uh... It's tempered. It wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Good 
Yeah, he wants me to take this out on the lake that the deepest spot is 43 feet. That's <laughs> and not... And the average is like 20. Yeah. Thumper just went off. The new switch is awesome. Well, well, I got the new switch that actually allows more juice to flow. So I'm not familiar. What is Thumper? It is an electric impulse generator that will... I forget how, what the numbers are, but it takes three one thousandths, 0 0.003 seconds to turn a piece of aluminum into aluminum vapor. All right. It sublimates the aluminum. I think it's 80 million watts. I thought it was like 1.8 million. Huh? I thought it was like 1.8 million watts. Yeah. Yeah. In, for that three one thousandths of a second, we are using more electricity than the whole of downtown Greenwich. It's all of Jesus. It, it's just a single impulse, so it's, you're just charging up the capacitor. You're not exactly fully versed in electricity yet. I'm sure I'll get there. Hopefully. Oh, don't worry, not all of us are you? I need to cut a corner off this tape, dude. Something that's better. Okay, so this time we're going to make sure we've got it exactly where we want it before we set it down. Oh, way too big for this. Right? Yay, windows are in.
but we have exactly one shot at this. We were using in high voltage yeah, with the rubber to get in here. Oh, okay. that's why we next use week, these. Next week we're swapping out the table. Okay. I couldn't work on that this week. I understand. Hey, Moose. Yeah. See how fast it's done. Hey, the internet has something you haven't I seen I can yet. I can show this to the they internet. Yeah. Seen the, uh, shiny Check logo. this out. Here's the the new logo for 2017. That's our logo upgrade. And. Uh, and this is our new case for support. Look how big it is. It is, it is big. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. Including some modern art. Today's blog prize is who can reference the modern art. Like, what artist that is the style of? There's a couple possible answers. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do they win? Um, they win a copy of the case for support! <laughs> I think we'll get something very artsy from the gift shop. Yeah, they'll get something artsy from the gift it's shop. An art question. Okay. Speaking of the gift shop, the robot parts are up. For sale in the gift shop? From Jeff? Yeah? Cool. If you have a blog prize coming to you that you haven't got yet because Jerry hasn't shipped the damn thing, please comment on this blog and let me know what you won, and we will get you sorted out. Because, Jerry. It would also be helpful if when you comment, you let me know some identifier, like your username. Okay. Because the YouTube name does not always like Yeah, it. yeah. And then I can just go and find you. And All right. Stuff. Cool. Look at that. We have a three-year plan. Three-year plan! I just found something. Check, I check out this picture. Yeah. At the White House Office of Science and Technology Policy. There's Moose. That's me. That's pretty cool. In the West Wing. 
I have pictures of me in the East Wing too. Yeah? Yeah. That's kind of cool. So you want to, are you ready? Are you prepared? Okay. Everything's going great. It's going to be fine. It's not like it's an expensive piece of custom plastic. It takes a week to get here or anything. You know, Nothing like that. Um, it's going to be fine. I don't know if this will make you feel better or worse, but I've destroyed more expensive parts. There is that. I'll let you decide how it makes you feel. This is a geek group. You're not even like a legit staff member unless you fucked up something really expensive. It's like a requirement. I had many things in the I torched the entire high voltage lab. Show me your part on the board. 
All right, it did it there, so we'll hope that no crack extends up into there. As long as as long as it just chipped and didn't put a big crack in it, we're okay. I'm hoping. You, you gonna do another test circle? You guys got the wiping done? Both sides. Okay. Hey, Moose? Yeah. Test circle was a good idea. That's going to be fun in rendering. Look too good. Good thing she's doing test circles. Yeah, we just need a red one. <laughs> then we could, a stack up two of them. We'd have three D. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the, the silver cap or silver light. Oh, yeah. So pretty. Yeah, hopefully, this time I can change the thread. How's it going, Sam? Yeah, we got tons of it. What size? They have a lot of figures. No, I need not so big. He needs half inch, which we've got. We got it. I think it's. Uh... I got three quarter one inch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Might be able to get away with three quarter. Yeah, thickness matches. So there's the old windows. There's the new windows. Go ahead. Cricket is here to see you. I'm in the MDH. They're being shut down. Yeah, but one of them's really bad. Oh. oh, that's that's cool. You should try this. Hi. How you doing? Good to see you, sir. It's been entirely too long. I only have one. You want to buy a boat? I was looking at this, and I actually <laughs> really wanted my own personal sailboat, but like the one-person sailboats. I don't, I don't do sailboats. Yeah. yeah but if, if you want a boat with a motor, or so if you, you want a motorboat without a motor, man, I can get you one of those cheap. <laughs> um, In fact, if you want just a boat motor, you can, you can have this one. With a boat, with this boat motor. Yeah. Well, you'll need a bit of rope, and you chuck it off the front, and make a hell of a good anchor. <laughs> So Maybe a, a a reef feature. Yeah. You could, you could, yeah. I've always wanted a way to make my own ground beef. There, yeah. But we, uh, it, actually, the motor in there has the makings for one hell of a good air compressor, and that's about it. Um, but if you are interested in the boat, I have a, I, I have a large collection of boats, and I sell boats. Like, and this time of year, I sell boats cheap. Okay. So like, if I want like if you want one in pontoon. June, I don't have pontoons. I do, I do boats that look like this, and boats that look like that, and I have smaller. Ooh, I like yeah. that better. Yeah. yeah, I got jet skis, too. Yeah. Why don't you lead with that? I love jet skis. Okay, I got jet skis for sale. Dude, I got one more year of soul-crushing college, and I might have a real job. Okay, well, I may have a jet ski in a year. I may have them all sold by March. It's, okay. Yeah. Now I can adjust it since the thread's not fucking blown on it. Yeah. Tell me how you really feel. The and this thread. boat is about to have windows. Ooh. And not only windows, but check this out. But how will the These are the original windows. Okay. okay. And see how it's like a smoked Lexan? Yeah. Right? And it's quarter inch Lexan smoked. That's just you know, this is nothing. This is just a pinstriping. It, yeah. It's a tape. So this is what it looks like after 30 years. This boat yeah. was made in 1985. Okay. Or 84 maybe. So that's the original windows. Yeah. This is what the new windows are made out of. That's, that's a sexy. test piece. Yeah, it's going to be gonna nice. Are you going to keep the boat white then? Well, it's going to polish up. It'll, it's like right now it looks all oxidized and it's a really dull color. Yeah. We'll do a full hull treatment on it and it'll be shiny and look brand new. Nice. We'll take 35 years off that boat in two days. Are you going to keep the stripes uh, or redo the stripes? Yeah, we'll redo oh. the stripes. Like all, all these will come off as part of the cleaning process and it'll all get redone. I may paint that stripe a different color. Yeah, it's a blue window. Yeah, I'm pr that's probably going to go yellow. Okay. It looks good with the blue. Okay. Look over there, look at the blue and the yellow. Okay, okay, look at the walls, see the blue and the yellow? They work well together. I see a theme. Yeah. Do you? And I might, I might do this in uh, blue and yellow, like 45 degree. Like the danger, danger stripes, like on the forklift. I might do that on there. It takes a hell of a lot of work, but it'll look cool. 
Yeah, oh well, yeah, we'll be doing 60 standing still. It's great. We'll be back. So, how'd it go? Great! Yeah? Yeah. Where's the first test one? Back here. Okay. Cool. <sighs> now I just have to not screw it up. I'm gonna be back. Alright, so they did the, the router bit, right? So now we have rough feet, well, we have pieces that are cut to size but they've got the tabs on So we cut the tabs off, and we end up with a piece like this, so this is the finish cut. Now it's got the paper on both sides, we're going to leave the paper on. Whenever you're working with plastic, leave the paper on until you absolutely have to take it off. So this piece is done. Now we can double check it up here. This window will be here. And it fits, and it's good, so this one's cool. Now that's clean, and this is clean. So we prep all four windows, and uh, then we do uh, then we do the tape. Grab the next one. Where's the windows? Right there. Right there. Set those over here. Yeah. Just, as long as nobody steps on them, we're alright. Hey, you want to buy a boat? I'll hook you up. We finally have a boat where if it rains, it probably won't get wet. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Grace. <laughs> Files only cut on the porch. And I'll do a final defuzzing because when we put these up there, it's really important once the tape comes out, once we get to the putting the tape on stage, that there is no fuzz, dust, schmoo. That's why I had you guys super clean it with alcohol. You want to be really careful not to do this step until after you get the tabs off like this, because if you run a finger along that, that they're razor sharp. You just pinch, get it with your thumb. It comes right off. Until some asshole puts aluminum tape on your thing, which we're going to have to just probably leave. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there because I'll come off the plastic. Alright, hold here. And we're using the vise with soft jaws so we don't fuck up the plastic. Right here. Down, not just try and snap them off, because if you snap them off, you'll just the blast them off. So it's a gentle filing down.
front like that, come in, use the edge, cut them off, leave them like an eighth inch high, and then bring it down. Because if it's really tall and skinny, you can snap it, and if it snaps, you're going to leave a big hole on this side. Cool. That's two. Now we're into the hard ones. These are big. Alright, so we're going to go way down to this end. Uh, hold way down here. We'll do this one right now.
Go ahead. Uh, I'm ready to do a test on the uh, new test stand if you want to. You can come down here and finish up windows. Check the edges, make sure there aren't any left, but I think that's all. Finish it up. Huh? Finish it up, looks like a good start. We're doing prep. Clean the tabs up. possible we're putting more work into these windows and bailing or did. And now we'll have the oldest Sierra in the world.
All right, so the windows are ready. D, D flu. Side to this, it just occurred to me. I think you'll see the tape. That's kind of why they do black smoke. Yep, black I think that's tape. why they do black smoke. I, I think, I think you'll see the tape. I think I don't really give a shit. But I, I, I think that's going to be our, our limiting factor. Is you'll actually see the tape. Well, it's a situation where you know. If, 
if you're that close to see the tape from the outside, you shouldn't be there. Yeah. Well, I think you'll see it from a ways away. Because this, the plastic we're using now is rather translucent. It's rather transparent. Yeah. And see, that's going to be the other thing is, you know, they made it so thick and heavy to get some sunlight, but not the blind. But... Well, it's all right. I got plenty for that. Yeah, I've already done it. I'm sure there's going to be 20 different dudes down there playing about 20 different areas. It's a little fucking idiot. side window. I'm sure there's something to clean Sharpie off of this.
Batman? Yeah. Make sure to peel the right side. Yeah. much better when it isn't like five years old. I know, right? That's that's the real awesome part of this is I never get plastic to just peel off so easily for me. He says right before it my ribs, yeah. Besides, right now it looks sexy. The minute I peel it off, it's gonna look like shit. I might leave it like that all winter. Actually, it's not a bad idea to leave it like that all winter because you need neighbor kids and just think it's cardboard. Thank you. 
guy who cut this pole sucked. Hey, Lucky was sober. Just, I don't think he was, judging by the quality of this hole. Sitting there with a the jigsaw. I got, I got questions. Maybe not even a jigsaw, maybe just a murder set. Looks like it was done with a jigsaw and or router knife. Batman? Yeah. Pretty sure I sure I should have gone with the smoke glass. Wait now. Yep, I don't care. But just damn it. Well, like I said, you just do a, a border around it. Right? Yeah. I'll I'll make it. Really it. Out. Yeah. Well Actually, a glazing
it compared to my old be okay. How's the bottom look? Step back and how's our line look? Alright. Line looks good. Looks like you're lining up with the pin stripe marks. Okay. I thought it'd be. That's quite lovely. Yeah. I thought it'd be way worse. Pull it at you. Don't. Yeah. Ooh. Along, not out. That's not bad. I can look at that. You I mean, it's. I'd be really pissed if I paid somebody and they didn't work like that. <laughs> But, hey, really, as long as it keeps the fucking water on, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get on that ladder, I got a project for you. Because you want to do this quick before it sets. A little squeegee little line of tape off the top. You want to carefully pull that off. Pull, pull too hard and it breaks. You just want to pull that little line of rubbery goo off the top. So, do you have some over there? Oh yeah, okay, that's what you do. Take a blade. Right along the edge like that, cut it, okay, and then pick it off. Do that. No, no, no. Here, watch. Don't hold the blade like this. The blade down close. Do it just like this. See this a little bit here? Hold the blade down close. You can even make it around the tree. Oh, you know what'll help this a lot? Up on deck. I think they're on deck. No, the little couple little packages of red and yellow things. Yeah, see them? Grab those. There'll be little red plastic razor blades. Find yeah, I got sick of trying to find a package we had, so I bought new ones. And Batman? Yeah. Where are you at? Alright, toss those here. We'll want them both. Okay. Hey, Batman. Yeah. Hey, Batman. Put these in the boat. Drop them in the boat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Put these in the boat drawer. Batman made a thing! I made a thing. Show him what you made, Batman! I made a clamping mechanism that just so, ha it just so happens to fit. Look at that distance. Oh. Boom. You want to test it? 
Your load is in. Let's go Don't test have to it. sit there for 20 minutes fumble fucking you screws. Test it? Let's test we it. should test it. Let's test it. You know how to drive? Yeah. I think you should test it. You made the thing. You made it. You get to drive. It's been a while. You gotta do the thing. So imagine electricity like a water pipe. That's all I can remember. Picture electricity like water in a pipe. Yeah. Volts is how you measure the pressure. They put this screen right here. It's hard to see when you're doing a test shot. Yeah, but the screen there is for the uh, the Rigel. Ah, okay. This watch. See a screen now? It's got snowflakes. Yeah. Okay, watch this. Boop. Very neat. See. And. Now it's on your screen. Yeah. 1600. There. It's for the Rigel. Thank you, Danici. Alright, we're up to 1800. Negative 70 on the bank. Okay, flip it to dump. Dump. Oh, turn it on. Just turn it on a second. Oh, yeah, yeah. You like that? That's neat. All right, turn it off. Oh, I like that. So your clamps blow open, but it doesn't. But slide otherwise off. survive. Yeah. I like that a lot. That's, that's I like that's quick too. Instant yeah. reset. <laughs> good contact there. Yeah, too. that's that's good shit. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> you guys have fun. That's today's captain's blog. Say hi to uh, Luca Rourke. Say hi oh, to, oh hi. my god. Oh my god. Hi, here's, Luke O'Rourke. Here's how that should go. Batman, say hi to Luke O'Rourke. Hi, Luke O'Rourke. See, it's not hard. Why? Did... You guys have fun. That's today's captain's vlog. Yeah. All right, time is 20, 40 hours. And we're going to do a, uh, a little demonstration of the lights. Kill the lights in the tool room. In the hallway there. I'm gonna I'm gonna get up here. Hang on a second. Oh, bitch. All right, Batman. When you're ready. That is cool. So, uh... I need a, I need a, I need a piece of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't like the Batman fantasy disco mojo yeah. there? <laughs> the danger must be growing! The rumors keep on growing! <laughs> so we put it in neutral. It'll eventually time out. There we go. Time's out. So does it time out if you get out of the seat? It's your yeah, it time, yeah, yeah, it times out. Okay. It's that relay that we selected. So even if, you leave, even if you leave it in gear. If you oh, leave it in gear, yeah. it's, time out. it's in neutral, it times out. Yeah, but what if it's in gear and you get out of the seat? It'll stay on. It'll stay on? It's okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, Mitch. That's cool. Ah, <sighs> look at those lovely windows. It actually, it, you can you can see it if you're up close, but you get back a ways, you don't even notice it. It's cool. Got windows. Very blue. It's very blue. Well, there'll be a lot more blue, but that's because it's a marine window, right? No, it's because I picked blue plastic instead. The, the smoke, blue water, joke. Okay, because marine. I'm gonna do the other side now. Do it. All right, so it's 2116 hours, and there are windows on this side of the boat, which are beautiful. 
Needs a little caulk, but I'll do that tomorrow. And, uh, gotta go out here. There are windows on the front of the boat. Look at that. And there are windows on this side of the boat. And they're all shiny and new and nice. They'll look better when I get the caulk in around the edges and it isn't just the tape, but I'm gonna let the tape cure tonight. I'll do caulk like noon tomorrow and get that sorted. And uh, then she'll sit inside all day tomorrow, tomorrow night, let the caulk cure. And then Monday we move it out into the cold for winter. And we have space in the MDH again. You guys have fun. That's really today's captain's blog. There. Today's captain's blog is made possible by Luke O'Rourke, the Juggalo Santa, spreading Christmas cheer to all the good girls and boys in the ghetto.